at 937. Uh, representatives from the state's community health centers got some great news following last month's congressional vote to keep them funded. We brought that news to you here on Fox 61. Uh, joining me now to talk about what they mean to the community is the new CEO of the Community Health Center Association of Connecticut, Ken Laleem, and the CEO of First Choice Health Centers in East Hartford, Eugene Market. Now, Ken leads the association that represents the state's 17 different community centers, of which one, the one in East Hartford, run by Eugene. Uh, gentlemen, thank you both for being here today. Thank you, thanks for having us. Uh, and I, I think, you know, we were talking before about what sort of points you want to get across about what you guys do. First and foremost is just to talk about uh, how extensively you help the people of this state and how extensive the help is that you offer. Talk to us about that. Sure, the Community Health Center Association actually supports the 17 centers uh, across the state. Yeah. We, re we actually see in excess of 375,000 patients. That's greater than 10% of the population in the state. And through a huge delivery system that I think is well coordinated, provides great access uh, with or without the payment issues in the middle mm -hmm. of that. And Eugene's uh, example of his, of his center uh, provides a, a huge array of services. And I'll let him uh, certainly talk to you about those things. Well coordinated, I think that is key. We talk about coordination of care between you know primary care and behavioral health and oral care and yeah. all of these are being provided under one roof uh, 17 times uh, around the state so uh, maybe Gene can talk to you about the details that he has yeah uh, please do you're sure. giving me yeah. some amazing numbers about yeah. what people can get just for a, a relative low cost for, yeah. uh, for and, a whole and year I think our center is a good example of the centers in the state at first choice we offer more than 30 different service lines uh, not just about medicine but it's also about health health and wellness and prevention mm -hmm. so we have a fitness center we have yoga classes, nutrition classes, um, diabetes education. So we have an extensive set of services and we deliver all of those services to our patients, over 22,000 patients. The cost per patient is only $660 per year. That's it. So for that patient to walk in, it, had the federal funding not been renewed, yeah. 2,200 patients would have lost access to care. That's how we would have had to downsize. Those 2,200, if they had made one emergency room visit, that would have been $1,400 on average in the state of Connecticut, mm -hmm. a $1,400 emergency room visit. We can deliver entire comprehensive sets of services to, to two patients for that one ED cost. So that's value. That's <laughs> yes. value-based care, and that's yeah. what community health centers are about. And all of those services are under one roof. Mm -hmm. accessible to the patients in the communities where they live. Where are you located? In uh, first choice is East Hartford, Manchester, Vernon. We have five sites in East Hartford, okay. four in Vernon, and four in Manchester. So okay. we're neighborhood based. We're in each of the neighborhoods. That yeah. is tremendous how much walk-in business goes to the yeah. community health centers around the state. And they're located you know, on bus lines and other places, so it's very convenient uh, to be able to just to walk into a community health center and receive this this broad array of services. And and I can't get you know, I can't stress enough how coordinated Mm -hmm. the, the process is. You know, we see fragmented care that really is much mm -hmm. more expensive. A coordinated model just is less expensive across mm -hmm. the whole industry. And, uh, lastly, b before we go, just in case people, again, are not aware of uh, the services you offer and where you are, is there a, sort of an integrated list of these centers that people can Certainly. find? Go to the Community Health Center Association website, yep. uh, chcact.org, and you will find a place to say, click here to find a community health center. And you can see the map. Uh, it's out there about how much uh, coverage exists. And this is for all of you, regardless of your ability to pay. Coordinated services, comprehensive services, all under one roof. A big thanks to the federal government for helping to get that funded. This is uh, an important thing that needs to be done. Guys, I know we could talk about this all day. Sure Thank you for taking the time. Thanks, you said you were driving up a long it. way in yeah. this bad weather. <laughs> I appreciate it, Mr. Right. Lee and Gene. Thank, Thank you, you so much appreciate for being with, here, uh, right. being with us here today.